So we want to find the domain of a composite function. This just means where it has continuity. And for the composite function, the denominator cannot equal zero. So in this instance, so f of g is going to be three. And then wherever x is for f of x, you're going to plug in the g of x equation. So two of x minus one. <coughs> Sorry about that. So in this instance, um, you cannot have zero on the denominator here. So x cannot equal zero. And then you cannot have zero in this total portion here of a denominator. So two over x minus one equals zero. So two over x equals one. And then, you know, x cannot equal two because you multiply by x here and x equals two to get zero. So x cannot equal zero and x cannot equal two. That's it. Uh, everything else. So if you write this in interval notation, it'd be negative infinity to zero in unison with zero to two in unison with two to infinity. Because that means all, all real numbers are a solution with the exception of zero and two. All right, that's it.